Monica Blake and Andy Rost's eldest son, Tyler, has been suffering severe headaches and back pain for a week. Then one morning, Monica tries to wake up her son. I couldn't get him to wake up. I freaked out. I lost it. I didn't know if he was going to be OK or if he was going to come out of it. It scared the hell out of me. Monica calls 911. When the paramedics arrive, they tell the family that Tyler has had a seizure. Tests show that the pressure on his brain from the spinal fluid is abnormally high. To relieve the pressure, surgeons drill a hole in the top of his skull and insert an external shunt to drain the excess cerebrospinal fluid. Doctors send the fluids to the labs for testing. 24 hours later, they get the results. The doctor said that he had valley fever. Valley fever is an infection caused by a fungus called Coccidioides immatus. The fungus is airborne and probably entered Tyler's body through his air passages. The spores reproduce in the lungs before traveling to the membrane that surrounds Tyler's brain, causing massive inflammation or meningitis.